Hi everyone, it's Kino here. Thanks so much for joining me for this one hour yoga drills class. This is an interesting day because we're doing a yoga drills class on a full moon. So you might notice that there's a lot of energy. You might notice that there's just a lot of, I don't know, like stuff in the atmosphere. So definitely today I advise you not to hit it too hard and just kind of go gently or, you know, as that, as that children's song goes, just merrily, merrily, merrily row your boat with the emphasis on gently down the stream. Okay, so let's just bear that in mind as we go through the practice. Say. not to freak you out or anything but you know this is we're advised not to do the traditional ashtanga practice on days like this and it's still totally safe to be in your body and all that kind of stuff just a warning and a little advisory note i'll definitely be erring on the side of caution today and i advise you to do the same okay so here we go close your eyes bring your hands together a long deep breath in. As you exhale, rest your hands down to any comfortable position. Let's begin with a few moments of mindfulness. So bring your attention to your breath as you feel the breath moving in and you feel the breath moving out. And whatever thoughts may be present in your mind, just gently be aware of those thoughts and then return your attention to the breath. So if you notice thinking, if you notice some strong emotions are present, be aware of those strong emotions and thoughts, and then return to your breath. Check in with your body. Notice how your body is feeling today in this moment. If there is anything that arises in terms of sensation in the body, this will help you move away from those repetitive cycles of thoughts into this moment of thought embodied or into this moment in the body itself. So you can just feel your muscles, your joints, the contact of your body with the ground underneath you. And then allow yourself a long and conscious deep breath in. As you exhale, softly open the eyes. Very good. Let's get started working the shoulders. So inhale, let's take arms out to a T-shape. Good job, just like that, excellent. And now you're gonna move your shoulder blades away from each other and we'll stay for five breaths. Again, nice and easy. One, two, that's it, keep working. Three, four, almost there. Five, let's roll the shoulders gently forward. Good, just keep feeling the shoulder joints, relaxing your neck, move the shoulder blades away from each other, and then let's do about two more rounds, and then let's reverse direction, let's move it back. That's good, just like that. Keep rolling, watch that little gentle fatigue start to arise, and don't overdo it. And again, remember, move your shoulder blades away from each other, away from each other. One more, that's good, big reach. Reach, 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 reach. Shoulder blades move away, away, away from each other. We're almost there, almost there. And then exhale, come on down. That's good, let's shake it out. 
We're gonna do a little bit more shoulder activation today. I want you to take your hands out in front like you're sleepwalking. Stabilize inside your shoulder girdle. So just get the feeling that the shoulder blades kind of nestle down the back. Your collarbone stabilizes, the front of the chest stabilizes. Then draw the elbows in towards each other. And now moving from the shoulder joint only, we're just gonna move the hands up and down. Move the whole arm up and down. Oh, that looks good. And we just keep that feeling, the repetition, just going up and down, creating that little instability in the shoulder joint by enabling this movement. And at the same time, I want you to stabilize your body. So let's let your body be totally stable and we'll just hold for a few more rounds. Take it up a little and then just keep going a little more, a little more, a little more, a little down and then keep stabilizing the shoulders back to in line with your shoulders. Good. Just like that. Okay, let's do about two more breaths. The navel is in, one more breath, and then stabilize. Exhale, all the way down. Good, let's shake it out. Okay, now we're gonna use the block from here to work the shoulders, which we, I don't think we've done in a little while. So let's go ahead and grab the block, hold the block that it's, so it's a little bit above your head, then drop the shoulder blades down the back, and then give me your elbows close together, but don't touch. Let's hold for five, one, Two, three, that's good, just like that. Four, five. Now you're gonna track your elbows as close together as possible, but they will separate. As you inhale, raise your arms. Good, draw the navel in, that looked good. Exhale, elbows in, really elbows in. Let's see those elbows in. Inhale, track your elbows along the inside edge, raise your arms. Try it again, elbows in. So watch your elbows, so look at the elbows, track them in, raise the arms. So we're training the rotator cuff, exhale, elbows in. Inhale, elbows in, straight arms. Exhale, elbows in, bend elbows, don't touch but almost touch. Three more, inhale, elbows in, arms up. Exhale, elbows in, almost touch but don't touch. Two more times. Inhale, elbows in, arms up. Exhale, elbows in, almost touch, but don't touch. Inhale, elbows in, arms up. Exhale, elbows in, almost touch, but don't touch. Hold for five. One, how are you doing? Two, that's good. Three, navel is in. Four, five, straight arms reach up. One, navel is in. Two, looking good. Three, almost there. Four, and five, elbows in, all the way down, move your block over to the side. Okay, I want you to just give your shoulders a little shake, all right? Roll them back, roll them forward, roll them back, roll them forward, again, a little shake, good. And now we're gonna come over onto the hands and knees. So just take a moment, get everything situated that you need situated, and then we'll pop on over to your hands and knees, okay. So from here, let's go for the hands to be that shoulder width apart. And I'd like to warm us up with cat and cow today. So let's inhale, extend. We got a deep breath in. Exhale, round. Let's draw it under. Inhale, extend again. A deep breath in. Exhale, round. We can draw it under. Inhale, extend, a deep breath in. Exhale, round, draw it under. Good. Walk forward. Now we take puppy pose. Exhale, reach your forehead down to the ground, or you can reach the chest down. Let's stay for five. One, two, three, keep breathing, four, Almost there, five. Bend the elbows, come forward, walk your hands back, stay here. Again, we take cat and cow just to keep the spine mobilized. Inhale, extend, see if you notice any differences in your spinal extension. Exhale, round, two more. Inhale, extend, we got a deep breath in. Exhale, round and under. Last one, inhale, extend, deep breath in. Exhale, round and under. Good, back to puppy pose. Walk forward with your hands. Exhale, you can place the forehead or your chest on the ground. Let's stay for five. One, give a little push 
with your shoulders. Two, tune into your hips, sending them back and up. Three, four, almost there. Five, press, walking your hands back, back to your hands and knees. Last time for cat and cow. Inhale, extend, deep breath in. Exhale, round all the way under. Again, inhale, extend, deep breath in. Exhale, round and under. Last one. Inhale, extend, deep breath in. Exhale, round and under. Now, walk forward. Last time, puppy pose. And this time, see if you can reach that chest down to the ground. If not, go back to the top of the head. When your chest is on the ground, really push into the shoulders. And then, try to lift your chin up. Five breaths. One. And if you have your chin off the ground, gaze forward to the thumbs. Two. Three. Remember, gently down the stream of practice today. Don't hit it too hard. Four. And five. Press into your elbows. Scoot forward. Come up into cobra pose and give me five breaths in cobra. And gaze at the nose and just check out the spine. One. Deep breaths. Two, easy does it, three, four, almost there, five, good, relax your shoulders, walk your hands back, all right, ready for upward facing, inhale, upward facing, big breath in, exhale, downward facing, all the way out, good, five breaths in downward dog, we got one, Two, three, four, five. Let's walk half the distance in, get our forward fold established. Ready? Soft bend in your knees, layer your chest onto your thighs, and drape the arms over each other. And then inhale, we get the hips moving back and up. Mm -hmm. One, let your body gently release. Two. Three. Nice and easy. Four, five. Let's do another bend in the knees, then inhale, hips back and up. Release, easy does it. One, two, nice and easy. Three, four, Almost there. Five, last one, bend the knees. Inhale, hips back and up. One, relax your body. Two, steady breathing. Three, four, let all the tension go. Almost there. Five, bend the knees, very good. Let's take the hands down again. Exhale, just step back, putting the knees down. Let's grab the blocks, and then let's line up the blocks so that they're shoulder width apart, all right? Now, we're gonna do some shoulder drills from the puppy pose, all right? So we're gonna do puppy pose with your hands up on the blocks. So take a moment, get the hands up on the blocks. Exhale, send the hips back and up. Take a moment and make sure that your forehead is on the ground. When your forehead is on the ground, and again, you might need to reposition the blocks a little, it's up to you to get that spot so that your hands are kind of right at the center of the block. Now, I want you to get the external rotation. So try to draw the elbows down, 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 down. Now press into your left hand, sweep your right arm and just lift it a little off the block. Exhale, put it down. Left arm a little off the block, put it down. Right arm a little bit off the block, put it down. 
Left side a little off the block, put it down. This is harder than it looks. Right side a little off the block, down. Left side a little off the block, down. One more time, both sides. Right side a little off the block, down. Left side a little off the block, down. Good job. Lift the head up, deep breath in. Walk a little forward, let's stay up on the blocks. Step one leg back, tuck your tailbone. Inhale, left leg back, plank for five. One, two, draw the navel in. How you doing? Steady breath, looking good. That's it, just like that. Three, good job. Four, five, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, big breath in. Exhale, downward facing, big breath out. Okay, come down onto the knees, and then we're gonna try a variation of what we just did. So now exhale, I want you to go down into kind of almost puppy pose, and then exhale, put the head down, then bend your elbows. Placing the elbows down, lift your right hand off of the block, hold. Two, three, four, and five, back on the block, left hand off of the block and press into the left elbow, two, three, four, and five, put it down. Now we try again, bend the right elbow, lifting the hand up off the, off the block, and then elbow little off the ground, exhale, put it down, back on the block. Left hand off the block, bend the elbow, lift the left elbow little off the ground, exhale, put it down. Hands back on the blocks. Inhale, lift your head up. Walk forward, forward. Like I said, it's harder than it looks. Step your right leg back, tuck the tailbone. Inhale, plank. Hold your plank. One, two, three, almost there. Four, five, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, big breath in. Exhale, downward facing, all the way out. Good, back down onto your knees. We're gonna do one more variation of this, and I know it's one of these movements that's like very small and very hard, but we try anyway. Exhale now, reach back so that your hips, uh, you're almost now in kind of like a child's pose with your hands up on the blocks, and then switch your gaze forward. Now we're gonna try this two ways. First, reach forward, right arm up, hold. One, two, press into your left, three, four, and five, exhale down, switch the sides. Left arm forward, you can gaze down if it's straining your neck, two, three, four, and put it down. Now, bend both of your elbows and stay a little perky, and then bend that right elbow up, keeping your face off the ground and gazing forward. Stay like this for five. One, two, three, four, almost there. Now we're gonna lift that right elbow off the ground like you're trying to reach back, one, two, three, keep it in, four, and five. Elbow down, hold the block, switch the sides. Left arm comes up, stay, one. Sorry, left hand comes up, keep the left elbow down, three, four, and five. Now, left elbow off the ground, one. Navel is in, two, three, stabilize, four, and five, put it down, hands on the blocks, walk a little forward if you need to, then inhale, give me plank on the blocks, five breaths, one, two, three, four, almost there, five, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing, let's stay in upward facing, five breaths, one, two, soften the glutes, three, Give the spine a chance to just do what it wants to do. Four, and five. Exhale, back to downward facing. Good job. Now, let's sink the knees down, and then move the blocks a little over to the side. As you move the blocks over to the side, we can make better use of the space that's here. Now I wanna start us working the hips just a little bit. So we're gonna work a few different hip positions. First, let's work the hip extension. Send your right leg back and up and hold. One, two, good, and really go for the back and up and not just the back and away. Three, four, and five, exhale, keep the leg straight, put the foot down. Now we're gonna go up and down, maybe a few times. Inhale, back and up, exhale down. Inhale, back and up, exhale down. Inhale, back and up, exhale down. Three more, back and up, 
exhale down two more back and up exhale down last one back and up exhale down now we're gonna add in your left arm inhale reach exhale down inhale reach exhale down so that's left arm right leg and down three more back and up exhale down really reach with the shoulder put it down two more reach with the shoulder down last one hold one two three four almost there five put it down give me a big round of your back hold the round hold the round last one back to the center good let's go for the left leg inhale back and up hold one enjoy this moment two steady breathing three and that's it easy does it feel your body no force four almost there five exhale down inhale back and up exhale down inhale use your hip extension and down inhale back and up exhale down back and up three more times inhale back and up exhale down two more times back and up exhale down back and up exhale down add in your right arm reach and down that's reach and down feel your body no force reach and down let's do three more reach and down two more reach and down last one hold one two reach three enjoy it don't force it four enjoy it don't force it five exhale down round your back give me a big round and draw the navel in good exhale child's pose let's just release the hips completely release the shoulders completely hands by your feet five breaths deep breath in and deep breath out two more one more and that's good then let's walk your hands forward like i said we're going to continue to work the hips we just did the hip extension and now i want you to kind of track through the hip rotation so we're going to do two uh, versions of this first let's keep your feet together stabilize your pelvis so you don't move from the pelvis inhale swing your right knee out to the side exhale knees together inhale right knee out to the side exhale knees together rotate your hip joint and knees together rotate that right hip socket and knees together let's do three more out to the side back together out to the side back together last one like this back together out to the side hold one two your toes are touching the knee is little up about 45 degrees maybe a little more four navel is in five exhale down switch the sides inhale left knee out to the side bring it back in inhale left knee out to the side stabilize your pelvis back to the center inhale left leg out to the side stabilize pelvis bring it back in three more out to the side bring it back in two more out to the side bring it back in last one out to the side bring it back in now we hold for five one your toes are together the knee is out two stabilize three four and five back to the center swing it back take the weight off your hands for a moment you can shake out your hands just a little mm -hmm. now we're said we're gonna do two versions of that so our second version we're gonna do a little differently so we'll do it with the straight leg so I want you to scoot to the back of the mat and as you scoot to the back of the mat you should have the clearing for your foot to slide on the floor. And you're welcome to put on socks if that helps you slide. So here we go. Inhale, right leg slide. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, explore your hip rotation and bring it back. Inhale, let's go for that hip rotation and bring it back. Three more times. Hip rotation, swing it back. Get that hip rotation, swing it back. Two more times. Hip rotation, swing it back last one hip rotation swing it back good job back to the center and round relax other side hip rotation left side 
and bring it back. You can switch your gaze to follow your foot and back into the side. Keep it pointed and spiral around and back to the side. All the way forward and back to the side. Three more times. Swing it forward, feel the body, enjoy it, out to the side. Two more. Bring it forward, out to the side. Last one. Swing it forward, out to the side. And back down to your knees, round the back. Hold it there for a moment. Hold it, hold it. Almost there. I want you to walk forward, forward, forward. And the next time, let's lie on the stomach completely down. Just rest for a moment, and then we're gonna turn over on the side. As you turn over on the side, I want you now to lie all the way down. Point your feet. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go through those same hip movements, except now from this lying down position. So I want you to work the knees bent, and then you're going to really target what's happening around your hip rotators. Tuck your tailbone a little, stabilize through the pelvis, and then keeping the foot contact together, knee up a little bit and together. So we're doing this as a movement in the deep six on the right side, together. We bring it out, together. We bring it out, together. Open the knee up and out to the side, knees together. Let's do five more. Out to the side, knees together. Again, out to the side, knees together. We got four more. Out to the side, knees together. Two more. Out to the side, knees together. The hips are burning. It's all good. Out to the side, knees together. Out to the side. I want you to hold it right here. And now take the hand on your right iliac crest and tuck the tailbone and give me little pulses. That's up and up. That's one, two, three, four. So you're lifting your foot off the ground. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And hold, I know it's burning. Just hold two, three, four, and five. Knees together, good. Just give your area here a little happiness, all right? We're gonna pop on over to the other side. So you can either just roll over if you can keep seeing me or you can switch the sides completely. All right, relatively easy to do. The tailbone tucks under. If you're familiar with your greater trochanter, we're trying to recruit the muscle groups around your greater trochanter. The navel is in, then let's spiral. Your knee comes open, the feet stay in contact with each other, knees together. Tuck the tailbone, spiral, and together. Really get the rotation, knees together. And you can just watch the movement track, make sure the pelvis is stable, knees together. Track it out to the side, knees together. Again, out to the side, knees together. Keep working, out to the side, knees together. Let's do like five more. Out to the side, knees together. The navel is in, out to the side, knees together. Four more. Out to the side, knees together. Three more, out to the side, knees together. Two more, out to the side, knees together. Last one, hold. One, two, tuck the tail a little bit. Three, four, and now let's get the knee off the ground and down, little pulses. One, two, three, four. I know it's burning. Five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10 and hold, two, three. These are the muscles of external rotation, four and five, knees together. Ooh, that's a, that was kind of intense in there, huh? We wonder what that is. So that's the strength that holds your leg behind the head, right there, that burning sensation. All right, let's flip it on back over to the first side so we can just kind of wiggle around. Now, I want you to bend your left leg and keep the right leg straight, and you're gonna roll forward. You can keep your right fingertips down, and now we're gonna test a little flexibility. First, let's test the flexibility. Rotate your right hip joint back, and just explore where that goes for you. And if it's better for you to do this with a bent knee, or if you only get to here, that's totally fine. Just explore your flexibility, and let's hold. One, two, Three, if you want to take your right hand to the right ankle, you can. Four, navel is in. Five, then take your right hand down and we're gonna go up and down. Exhale, point the foot forward, roll it forward. Good, inhale, rotate the hip joint back, bring it up. Exhale, spiral forward. Inhale, rotate back. Good, 
exhale, spiral forward. Inhale, rotate back. Uh huh. Exhale, spiral forward. Inhale, spiral back. Five more. Exhale, spiral forward. Inhale, spiral back. Exhale, spiral forward. Inhale, spiral back. Three more. Exhale, spiral forward. Inhale, spiral back. Two more. Exhale, spiral forward. Inhale, spiral back. Last one, spiral forward. Inhale, spiral back. Hold, give me little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And hold, extend your left arm and rest your head down and hold. Hold, take the right hand, reach up, make a contact, and then just drape down and just let it be. Stay for another five. One, two, relax the same muscles that we were engaging. Three, four, almost there. Don't push, you're just using the arm as a little weight. Almost there. Five, let it go. Drop your knee, your legs down and bring the knees together. And then we're gonna switch the sides. Good. All right, so we're working the legs today. And we're gonna do the other side. So get the knees together, get yourself in a good position. Rotate the tailbone under, extend. Mm -hmm. So your left leg is straight, the right knee stays bent, left fingers on the ground. First we test our flexibility. So you're going to rotate and just kind of explore. One, two, Three, four, take your hand and just let that drape. Two, three, four, that's good. Fingers down, rotate forward, good. And inhale, rotate back, leg up. Exhale, rotate forward, inhale, rotate back. Exhale, rotate the hip joint. Inhale, find the muscles of external rotation. Rotate forward as you exhale, go down. Inhale, spiral the leg, reach it up. Exhale, rotate forward, leg down. Inhale, rotate back and up, leg up. Four, five more times. Exhale, leg down. Inhale, bring the leg up. Exhale, bring the leg down. Inhale, rotate back. Try to stabilize your body. Exhale, leg down so you can move more in the hip. Inhale, bring the leg up, just like that. Exhale, leg down. Two more times. Inhale, leg up. Good, make sure you're rotating. And then down, so watch the position of the knee. The knee should be pointing back and away from you. Last one, the knee points forward. Then we bring it up, make sure the knee points in the opposite direction of your head, and little pulses. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Extend your right arm, reach back, and then again, just drape down. Stabilize with your left leg, hold two, three, four, almost there, five. Release, don't overdo it, bend the knees, keep the knees together, and then let's come on all the way back up. All right, so. I'm just gonna put the microphone back on, one sec. I had to take it off because I was lying on it. Now, coming on back up to seated, I want you to cross your feet, take your hands forward, and then inhale back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing, big breath in. Exhale, downward facing, all the way out. Now, we're gonna take pigeon pose. So inhale, step forward, shin bone lines up with the front of the mat, or keeping the knee closed if there's pain around the knee. So you can take a block underneath your right hip. So if you want a little support for the body, you can take the block underneath the right hip so that you can stay more symmetrical. If you are leaning very much over to one side, taking that block under the hip is very, very useful. After all that hip movement that we did, you should feel those muscles of external rotation very strongly right now. So then exhale, let's come on down. We're gonna take, we're gonna hold this for five long deep breaths. One. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Two. Three. 
breathe. You might notice the sensations increasing. You might notice the sensations decreasing, but you want to feel what you feel. Four, looking good, steady breaths. One more deep breath in. Use the muscles of external rotation. Good. Inhale, let's lift the head up. Exhale here. Walk your elbows back. Now we're gonna activate the pigeon a little bit. So I want you to curl your left toes under, lift your left kneecap off the ground, and then inhale, lift the hips back and up. One, two, three, Four, get your shoulders nice and stable, hold, hold, and then lift your right foot off the ground, coming into a dolphin plank with your right knee bent. And then exhale back to your dolphin. Exhale all the way down. Inhale, upward facing, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing, all the way out. Good, now we do the other side. Left leg comes forward, exhale, come on down. Good. Nice and easy, let's just come on down. So take that moment, aligning your pelvis as it feels right for you, so you can make sure to lift that left hip off the ground to give it a little support, and then get the body symmetrical. And then exhale, let's come on down. All right, five deep breaths. One. Two. Be with your body, no fight, no force. Three, steady breathing. Four. One more breath, long, steady, deep breath in. Five, good job. Let's lift the head up, we'll walk the elbows back. All right, so now we got our dolphin position. We're gonna lift the pigeon up off the ground. So curl your right toes under, pitch your shoulders forward. First, straighten your back, right leg, then left knee off the ground. You can keep the left foot down or you can pick it up, up to you. One, two, get a good position. Three, four, almost there. Good, bend the left knee back. So now we're in a dolphin plank with the left knee bent. Three, left foot is off the ground, pointed back. Four, five, step it back. Hold your dolphin plank for five. One, two, three, steady, steady, don't give up. Four, five, dolphin, walk in, walk in. Do with the feet flat first, relax. One, two, you need to bring the elbows closer. You can always do that. Three, four, Five, pivot forward onto the tips of the toes. One, two, three, four, almost there. Five, lift your head forward. Exhale, bend the knees. Baby Bakasana contact. Inhale, hips back and up. Exhale, bend the knees. Baby Bakasana tricep contact. Knees to the triceps. Inhale, hips back and up. Five more times. Exhale, bend the knees. Tricep contact. Inhale, hips, back and up. And exhale, bend the knees, tricep contact. Inhale, hips, back and up. Exhale, bend the knees as close as you can. If you don't touch, it's okay. Back and up, two more times. Exhale, bend the knees, tricep contact. Inhale, hips, back and up. Last one, tricep contact. Ready, ready, come forward, 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 and feet off the ground. One, two, three, Four, easy does it. Five, sink it down, straighten your arms. Good job. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, big breath in. Exhale, downward facing, all the way out. Cross your feet, cross the shin bones. Exhale, sit down. All right, good job everyone. Straighten out your legs and draw the navel in, sinking the hips down. Hands come down next to the hips, lifting the kneecaps and moving your toes away from each other. This is Dandasana position. One, 
Steady, deep breathing to three, four, almost there, five, reach forward, pivoting at the hip joints, holding the ankles or the big toes, inhale, prepare, deep breath in. Exhale, fold. Good, five breaths, relax your back muscles. One, two, three, steady breath. Four, almost there. Five, inhale it, straighten the arms. Exhale here, reach around. We can hold the big toes, you can hold your feet, you can interlock your fingers, or you can hold your wrists. Inhale, prepare, and exhale, fold. One, shoulder blades down the back. Two, steady breathing. Three, the navel is in, deep breaths. Four, almost there. Five, good job. Inhale, let's straighten the arms. Exhale here. Release your feet. Lean a little bit back. And then knees move away from each other. Hands back behind you. We'll take reverse tabletop or reverse plank as you like. Ready? We're going to lift the hips up and forward. Inhale, hips up and forward. One, navel is in. Push the pelvis up. Two, three. Stabilize with your transverse abdominals, even as you draw in, four, and five, exhale down. Good job. Grab your blocks, stack the blocks in between your feet and your hips. Very good, just like that, good. Now, we're gonna work a little bit of our friend Navasana. It's time to descend into the core of the body. Now, arms forward, one, two, steady breath, three, Four, almost there. Five, exhale, swing it down. One, you don't want to squeeze the knees together as you go down. Two, three, four, and five. All the way up, cross your feet, hands on the blocks. Inhale, hips back and up. One, two, three, steady breath. Four, push the weight in your shoulders. Five, exhale down. Again, Navasana. One, you can take the feet off if you like. Two. Just like that, keep working. Three, navel is in, deep breaths. Four, five, exhale, go down. One, two, three, almost there. Four, five, bring it in, change your cross. Inhale, hips back and up, pitch weight into your shoulder. One, two, three, almost there. Four, and five, exhale down again, Navasana. One, Two, keep working, that little fire, get it kindled. Three, four, almost there, how you doing? Five, exhale, down, good job. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it in, change your cross. Inhale, hips back and up. One, push weight into the shoulders. Two, you lift your feet, you can, but you don't have to, four, and five, exhale down two more times. One, that's good, just like that, keep working. Excellent work, three, steady your breath. Four, your gaze is at the toes. Five, exhale, come down. One, you could try, hands above your head if you like. Three, four, and five, bring it up, change your cross. Inhale, hips back and up. One, remember to pitch weight in your shoulders. Two, three, four, and five, exhale down, last one. One, two, doing good, keep working. Three, four, and five. Exhale down, one. If you're looking for the extra challenge, hands above the head, three, four, navel in, five. Bring it up, cross, lift it. One, pitch weight into your shoulders. Two, three, four, and you can bring your legs back through the blocks. Find your plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Cross all the way through. 
Bring your blocks over to the side. That's good. And now we're gonna lie down. We're not done, but we're lying down. So give yourself a moment. Give yourself a little moment once you lie down to just rest your sacrum on the ground. Get in a good position. We have constructive rest. Your knees are spiraling into each other. We're gonna continue working on the core of the body. So now as you draw the navel in, start to rotate your tailbone under. Inhale, we pick it up. One, two, that's it. Just keep breathing. Three, four, five, side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, center, palms together, cup them up and reach. One, reach with your abdomen, not with your arms. Three, four, and five. Exhale down, knees away from each other just for a moment, keep them hips width apart, rest. One more breath, we repeat. Knees come together, repeat the tailbone under. This whole area is firm, inhale, pick it up. One, two, Three, four, five, side to side, right side, left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, ten. Center, palms open. Reach. One, two, don't give up. Three, four, and five, exhale down. Move your knees away from each other. That's good, let's relax. Easy does it. We got one more set, so collect a little energy. Remember, these movements are surprisingly hard and it's the cumulative impact that really makes the difference. So we got one more, let's do one more. Knees come into each other. Just be with the body in kind of this friendly relationship. Then you're gonna rotate the tailbone under and then inhale, we pick it up. One, two, Three, four, five, five, only five. Okay, side to side. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Center, palms open, reach. One, two, three, almost there, four. And five, good job. A little extra power there for a moment. Now, bring both knees and just drape them over to the left for a moment. This helps release the front of the pelvis. Stay for a moment, both knees to the center, and then drape them over to the right side. That's good. Just for a moment, release the front of the pelvis on the left side, and back to the center. Good, now, I'd like to bring both legs up. So let's bend the both knees up into the chest. Give them a little squeeze. Good. <laughs> Inhale, let's extend the legs. Stay for five. One, I want you to rotate your thigh bones inward. Two, three, four. A few more breaths. One more breath. Five. Now, rotate the thigh bones out. And then uh, let's go for the reclining straddle. All right, five slow breaths. One, deep, steady breathing. Two. Three. One more long deep breath in. Five, reach down, bring the legs back together. All right, let's bend your right knee into the chest. Stay there for a moment. Just give yourself a little moment to stay. And then exhale, cross over. 
Now we take our reclining twist. Inhale, lift the right arm up, and then exhale, spiral open. Good. Let's we'll find a good place. We'll stay for a long five breaths. One. So don't try while you're here to stretch anything. Just arrange the body and trust that the stretching is happening. Two. Three. One more long, steady, deep breath in. Long, steady, deep breath out. Sounds good. Inhale back to the center. Draw the knee a little bit in. Exhale, extend the right leg. Stabilize the pelvis. Switch the sides. Left leg comes in. Give yourself a little squeeze. And then exhale, let's spiral over, making the posture as comfortable as possible, especially for your right leg and your shoulders and the neck. Then inhale, lift your left arm open. And exhale, drape the arm out to the side. Good. And again, we don't try to stretch, but we arrange the body and trust that what stretching needs to happen is happening. One. Two. Steady breathing, three, four, almost there. Five. Good job. Let's come on back into the center. Constructive rest for a moment. Let your sacrum settle onto the ground. Get comfortable. Feeling your body totally cradled and supported by the ground underneath you. Then gently release your hands. Move your knees a little away from each other and then Gently press through the heels to extend the legs. And allow yourself a long, deep breath in. And as you let go with a long, deep breath out, feel the body settle into the ground. Feel your connection to the ground underneath you almost as though there's a connection between every cell of the body with the earth underneath you, the layers of the earth, the body made of the same substance and the molecules of the earth. Feel any tension, any stress just melting away from the body, almost as though any stuckness any tightness and any energy that's not yours just melts away from the body, away from the body. And at the same time, feel your connection infinitely upward, as though there's a connection to the grand infinite oneness of the universe. And any repetitive thoughts, 
or tight or difficult situations in your life, let those float away from you. All the cords and ties and weight and burden of those difficulties, let them float away from you, almost as though they're being cared for by the most powerful force in the universe, being taken off your shoulders so that you can be here in this moment, totally free. With that feeling of safety and security, with a feeling of health and vitality in the body, with a feeling of ease and flow, the feeling of peace, harmony, and love. And then, feeling the body, the mind, and the soul totally nourished, invite in a little bit of joy, a little bit of amusement, a little bit of happiness, a little more. And then slowly reawaken your fingers, toes, your hands and feet, and bend the knees and the elbows. We come back to constructive reps. Let's draw the knees up into the chest. Give me a little squeeze. Roll over onto your side. We come back up to a comfortable seated position. Eyes closed for a moment. Again, return to that state of mindful presence and be aware of breath, body, and mind. Feel the energy that you are totally free, totally clear in a space of love, peace, and harmony. Offer that vibration freely around you as a genuine wish for all beings to be happy, free, harmonious, and filled with love. And then gently bring your hands together, a long deep breath in, As you exhale, softly open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me on this practice. May you be happy, may you be peaceful, may you be filled with love. Namaste.